Like so. I use a lighter to uh, strip the wires because at this point they get so short it's impossible to use that uh, wire stripper I showed you earlier so I just melt the plastic off that way. Oh great. There you go. Ground connection secured. So now we got the, uh, the switch attached to the spring at the bottom, which is attached to the positive. These two I twisted together off the regulator are going to go up to the atomizer in a minute. Oh, I almost forgot to attach my my running wire from the red light it is also negative so it needs to go in one of these negative holes and be attached to the outside ring which is negative everybody with me so far these things are very simple to make so but if you don't want to make your own you know if you don't have the time or the patience uh... PM me and You'll have a true 5 volt consistent PV that you can use to stop smoking. Is the FDA going to sue me for saying that? Who knows? I doubt it. Maybe. Help your smoking recovery. Help your smoking recovery, my brilliant fiance says. I think these ones take me twice as long to make because I'm talking and yapping and yapping and I probably said everything four times. Okay, that negative is connected. God, I need a hit. That feels better. Okay. Okay, folks. Here we go. We are getting to it right now. Now, black wire coming off the switch is going to the voltage in. That is also being connected to the red wire, which is the positive from the green flashing LED. So, you can just clip all three of these. Voltage in, positive from the green flashing LED, and um, the switch, you can clip them all the same length like that and connect all three of them together that gets all the electricity going in the right way in the right place can you tell I'm not an electrician yet? electrician yet? most people can it's the only thing I still use a lighter for Quit smoking everything else. Ouch. Yeah, and burning myself very as much. So I got these three together. And I will just spin them together like this. Spin them together. 
flip them off, and solder them together. Somebody commented on my soldering technique. I think I do pretty good for never soldering anything else together before this. Now, back to the heat shrink. Take yourself a nice piece of heat shrink. I want one a little bit longer than that. Slide it over those three that you just soldered together. And heat shrink that mess. Try not to burn yourself too much with the heat shrink gun. A little bit's not bad. But try not to burn yourself too much. Okay, there it is. It is together now. Zoom in so you can see what I got. I got the positive coming up from the spring, going into the switch, coming out of the switch. Connected to the voltage in on the regulator. Connected to the flashing green light. The negative on the flashing green light is connected to the outside ring, which is negative on the circuit board. The negative on the running light is connected to both the positive, where the switch is connected, and the, and the negative is con from the red running light is connected to the green on the, uh, to the negative on the circuit board with the green. You have one more green wire coming off the circuit board which is going to be connected to the body of the flashlight. That's because the switch on the bottom of the flashlight is attached to the uh, to the body of the flashlight where it screws in. That's how the negative gets back up to the flashlight when you originally have a flashlight. So you have this whole mess and it basically gets pushed right down inside flashlight just like this see that see how it kinda looks similar now thank god okay now what I'm gonna do is I am going to clip this green wire and then I'm going to melt off all the plastic on it. Ouch. Ouch. If you don't say ouch two or three times, you're probably doing something incorrectly. You want to take this this uh, this common negative wire that's coming off the bottom of the circuit board, and you want to get it to spin around these two holes, like X over X, somehow, any way you can. So that way, it is connected real good to the this is the only hard part where I reach inside of the flashlight so it's connected to the body of the flashlight So give me a minute and I'll be right back. Um, like I said, I wanted this negative common uh, connection to be connected to the body. It's one of the most important things that keeps these mods running. So instead of uh, attaching it to the circuit